So, what do you say? Let's get going. Let's get cooking. <laughs> See, ready? Come on, let's go. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Elizabeth. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. So I was planning on doing my day in the life video today. However, construction noise in my neighborhood derailed that plan. And many of you have been asking for some yummy raw vegan recipes. So today I decided we're gonna get busy in the kitchen, raw vegan style. Actually, I showed you this dish in my evening routine video. However, I realized I never gave you the recipe. And trust me, it is muy delicioso. Mwah. And I also added a little special teaser surprise from my day in the life video, just to give you a preview of coming attractions. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hello, my beautiful beloveds. Hello, my loves. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad to be back with you. So, first of all, I love you guys to infinity and back. I love you so much. I was on reading your messages. Every single night I sit down and I get my glass of water and I chill and I turn on my meditation music and I open up my computer and I look at all your messages. So, mm, thank you so much. Literally, when you guys message me, it means the world to me. I just, uh, it touches my heart so much. You guys are so beautiful. And so I want you truly to know how much you mean to me and how much I love you. So before we begin today's video, my beloveds, we, you know we have to do, because <laughs> I got busy this week on the Love Mac. I mean, I know I say that every week, but wait till you guys see. It's incredible, okay? Look at what I did. I'm so excited. I went through from the last five videos and I went through every single one of your messages and I literally wrote down every time you said you were from a city or state, I wrote it down. And so this is everyone from the last five videos who told me where they're from. I also added some, because you guys were right, there are a couple people who are like, hey, Dr. Elizabeth, my country's not on the love map. So just so you guys know how the love map works, the countries are over here, and then all the cities are here. And what I want you to do, I want everybody to take a peek at this. If I have not written down where you're from, I want you to tell me, and I promise you, I'm gonna add it to the love map. It's so funny because I wrote it, some of you guys caught it in the video last time. I, I said something like out loud, I said, I think to myself when I look at this, and then I thought to myself, I heard the song, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And really, I think that's the theme of this love map is I think to myself, what a wonderful world when we can really lead with love and how that really, when we infuse love into any situation, it always goes well. And so I think that certainly in the world we live in right now, infusing some love, and not only love, but unity. This is what I really love about this, is the unity. Like you just look at every one of these cities, they're just like, they literally could be as far apart as here to here, and yet they sit right next to each other in love on the love map, and I just love that. So uh, let's, keep, let's keep on sending love into our world and watch what miracles we can create with that. All right, so now we're done with the love map. Let's get going making some pasta marinara sauce. <laughs> Raw vegan style. All right, so let's get busy in our kitchen right now. All right, here we go. First, we're going to start by making our raw vegan pasta marinara sauce. We're going to take one half of a red bell pepper, approximately four to six ripe organic tomatoes. Okay, so while we're doing this, let's just have a little conversation for a minute. I think I was telling you guys earlier, I was planning on doing this video. It's a day in my life video, and I caught a vision for it over the weekend, and I was so so excited about it. I, I mean, I couldn't wait to do this video for you. I had everything all planned out. I had, I had you know, locations scouted all the different beautiful locations. Uh, I was really, it was like, I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited to share this with them. And I woke up this morning and they were doing construction right where we were supposed to film. And so I was like, I kind of at first was really heartbroken because I was so excited to share this with you. And then I thought to myself, okay, <laughs> what would Dr. Elizabeth say? Because <laughs> you know, I have to take my own advice sometimes. <laughs> and I said, oh, what I would say is stop for a minute, 
take a breath, regroup, and then ask yourself, what's the gift in this situation? And that's the case not only obviously with this filming a video, which is in this grand scheme of life and things in life, this is such a small thing, even though I love you guys and I want the videos each time to be amazing and spectacular and fantastic. Um, and this one was, <laughs> stay tuned, it was really incredible. So I thought to myself, what's the gift? And then what I got from that was a lot of you have been asking me for food videos and I thought, well, that's a perfect opportunity. We'll be in the kitchen. That will be really nice. But on a grander scale than that, I thought, wow, you know, you guys didn't see that, did you? <laughs> We won't be using that tomato. <laughs> Maybe I should do it this way. Oh my God. <laughs> this is why they've never given me a cooking show. I would be a disaster. Oh, I'd be comedy, but I'd be a disaster. Okay, that's much easier. Okay, and I should preface all of this by saying, I don't multitask well. All my friends make fun of me because I don't multitask well. So let's see how well I do trying to talk to you and trying to do this. <laughs> at the same time. If this becomes a voiceover, you'll know that I wasn't successful. <laughs> okay, so what I thought was, you know, a lot of you, a lot, I would say, you know, it's, it, this is a big question I get is, okay, Dr. Elizabeth, what do I do when I'm frustrated? What do I do in the face of a challenge? What do I do when, you know, I'm having a difficult time? And I thought to myself, this is a really great question because life doesn't always go the way we want it to go. I mean, we can, make, we can make the best laid plans, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna happen that way. And some things are within our control and some things are not within our control. I love that prayer. I'm gonna preface it, the serenity prayer. God grant me the courage to do the things that I can, the ability to let go of the things that I can't change, and the wisdom to know the difference. I'm paraphrasing, but that's a really powerful prayer. So what we want to do is we want to, as much as possible, if we have a vision, go for the vision, really, really go for the vision. But if it's not working for some reasons, we want to have like the awareness to go, okay, like what I showed you guys, <laughs> those huge cranes across the way there. I was like, that's not happening today. There's huge cranes and they're making incredible amounts of noise we can't film them. So no matter how I want it to, we have to shift gears. And then how do I make that into a blessing for you? And then of course me as well. And so that little prayer is, and I'll try to put that in the description box. I'm going to find it and put it in the description box. Is a real beautiful thing to live by as well as stopping for a minute, taking a breath and then asking what's the gift. So I just wanted to share that with all of you because I think that's such a really powerful and important tool to have in our toolbox. And so we're going to add dates. I'm going to add uh, just a handful. Let's add six. These are small dates. So we're going to pop six small dates. One, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Under trois, quatre, cinq, six. Let me see. Okay, here, for those of you in China, e a sans su. That's all I know. <laughs> Message me and let me know if that was correct. <laughs> I probably butchered it. Okay, now we're going to add the sun-dried tom tomatoes, tomatoes. I think I just sound so, um, it sounds so formal when you say tomatoes instead of tomatoes. Those are, that's from all of my British people. Next, we're going to add in one-fourth a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Then add one fourth cup of onion, a clove or two of garlic and your Italian spices, and a pinch of sea salt. Sorry guys, I forgot to record that part, but I just wanted to mention it because it is part of the recipe. And then we're going to whip everything up in our Blendtec high-speed blender. You do not need a high-speed blender for this recipe. It does make it easier, but it's not necessary. So let's just see how we, oh, this looks good. And what you can do with the high speed blender, which is really amazing as well, is the motor is so strong that you can actually use this to heat up your sauce. Oh, wow. Oh my God, this is so good, you guys. You guys are really gonna love this. So now let's put this to the side. Now what we're gonna do is I wanna show you the bush pa. Remember our kelp noodles? So we have two options, or if you want to get fancy, you can use both. Uh, we can use zucchini noodles or we can use kelp noodles. 
I will leave a link in the description box to a video I made on how to prepare kelp noodles so that they're nice and soft like a real pasta noodle. So if you'd like, check that out. So now I'm going to show you how to prepare zucchini noodles. It is so easy and you don't even need a spiralizer to do it. This little device here is my roommate. She got it at the 99 cent store. Literally, it was 99 pennies and it's so, so easy to use. So you just are going to go ahead and grab a bowl and you're going to spin the zucchini in this little device here and it literally is going to make pasta noodles. It's that easy. And of course, if you have a spiralizer, you could use that little instrument as well, whatever is your preference. What we're gonna do now is, we just take our little pasta noodles like this, and we, look at how beautiful, these are literally, look at, these are literally pasta noodles. And they're so good for you, they're filled with nutrition. You know how when you eat, well, I haven't, I haven't eaten pasta, like regular pasta, in probably 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 58. Yeah, probably probably more than probably 45 years. I haven't eaten regular pasta. But you know that kind of heavy feeling you get when you eat like regular pastas? With this, you don't get any of that. It just it makes you feel light. It makes you feel uh, energized afterwards. All you get is incredible nutrition. So all we have to do is literally, in fact, let's give this another spin around the block real quickly here just to heat it up. So if you do have a high-speed blender, either a Blendtec or a Vitamix or something like that, you can go ahead and you put this on high and your high-speed blender will actually heat up the pasta sauce without destroying any of the nutrients. It's incredible. If you guys are interested in getting a Blendtec blender, I did put a link in the description box. And if you use that link, they do offer a little discount for us, which is nice. So let's see how hot this got. Whoa, look, can you guys see the steam coming out? Actually, look at that. There's literally steam coming out of this. That's how warm it gets. And that's what's so great about the High Speed Blender is that um, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> I'm not sponsored. But what's fantastic about it is your food is warm because that's one of the biggest complaints people have about uh, raw food is that that's why I like calling, I, you'll, you'll rarely hear me call it raw food. I usually call it living food. Because when people hear raw, they think I'm going to hand them a carrot stick and a celery stick and say, have a nice meal. <laughs> and that's not the case. I mean, as you can see, there's really delicious things that you can make here. And so when you say living foods, it conjures up the image energetically of putting foods that are alive, filled with incredible nutrition in, in minerals and vitamins and all these incredibly delicious nutrients that our body is longing for and it puts them right into the food that we get to eat. And how amazing is that? Here's the thing. A lot of people tell me they're struggling, they want to release some weight. If you're looking to release some weight, the first thing you want to look at is, where am I not nourishing myself enough? And when I work with people, I work with them holistically. So I would ask, where are you not nourishing yourself physically, like with what you're eating in the body, but where are you not nourishing yourself, um, body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit and begin to give yourself the nutrition that your body's longing for. The reason people overeat is because they're hungry for nutrients. They're not hungry for food. You can give somebody processed food, junk food, food that's not good for us, and they'll eat it, but their bodies are saying, no, <laughs> I don't want that. I want the nutrition. I want the nutrients. Please give me the nutrients so I can allow my body to live and thrive. And that's what this does. So if you're looking to release some weight, just begin to look at where can I nourish myself with living foods as opposed to uh, dead foods. I call them dead foods, processed foods, junk foods, um, or even foods that just aren't that healthy for us. When we begin to eliminate those foods that we are intolerant to, what happens is our body begins to get healthier. We start putting living foods in our body, our body gets healthier. When we begin to do all the things I'm sharing with you on this channel, like, you know, 10 healthy habits to change your life, begin to think in terms of uh, a life that's expansive, begin to think in terms of loving ourselves, begin, like they all, remember I say small changes equal miraculous results. They all feed on each other. So if you just, like literally, instead of having a regular bowl of pasta. You come home one night and have this instead, or for lunch, have this instead of a regular processed meal. What that does is it's going to shift every other aspect of your life for the better. Okay, so let's go ahead and have ourselves a little bit of this delicious pasta. Oh my God, this is so good, you guys. 
This is incredible. So I like my noodles swimming in sauce. <laughs> so I will go ahead and pour a lot in. And what we're just going to do is we're going to just mix it up like that. Perfect. Get it all. In fact, we're going to go like this. This will make my life easier. But here you have yourself an amazing, nutritious, delicious, incredible bowl of raw vegan pasta with amazing marinara sauce on top of it. It's healthy, it's uh, certainly nutritious, and when you begin to eat like this, watch how every other aspect of your life shifts for the better. So I want you guys to message me and let me know if you try this and let me know if you like it, all right? So is there anything else I want to tell you? Just I want you to know how much I love you, how much I appreciate you. And until next time, happy skinny dipping in the fountain of youth. Now, let's go bachata dancing. <laughs> let's go. I'm so excited to take you with me. Mwah. So I wanted to leave you with just a little teaser of our coming attraction video, my day in the life video. I'm definitely going to be featuring my dance partner and I doing some really beautiful bachata dancing. But I just wanted to share a little bit of it in advance because I couldn't wait. All right. Hope you guys enjoy. I love you lots. Mwah. Ciao.